A two-day eschatology conference is coming on February 23rd and 24th at Joplin Family Worship Center, located at 5290 East 7th Street in Joplin, Missouri. Here's Pastor Dan Wormuth to tell you about this event. Hi, this is Pastor Dan Wormuth, and I have on the phone with me right now my brother, Pastor Michael Wormuth, uh, my second brother, and we are talking today about a conference that's getting ready to happen at Joplin Family Worship Center out on East 7th Street in Joplin, 5290 East 7th. And this conference is a very important one uh, for people here in the fourth state to realize uh, where we are on the timeline of God. Mike, welcome. Thanks. It's uh, a joy to be here. Want to just take a couple of moments. Would you please let people know what they could anticipate as far as the teaching and the information you're going to communicate on Friday and Saturday? Sure. Uh, we are we are thrilled to be able to uh, be able to talk about really current events and how Scripture uh, has outlined these events well in advance. And um, we're, we're going to begin Friday night uh, with the title "The Path to Here." How we how did we get here? And really uh, talking about how God is wrapping things up. You know, um, anticipating uh, the rapture of the church and the return of Christ and um, so that's, that's going to be our subject on, on Friday evening, and we're going to talk about some of the things that you're seeing in the news, like uh, the financial crisis is in, um, you know, really the border crisis, the one world religious movement, uh, a lot of things that have distracted people from what's happening, such as uh, race baiting and, and the promotion of the woke agenda, uh, the climate crisis, and, and these, these things that kind of take your focus off of of really uh, what really is happening. That's going to be on Friday night. And then uh, Saturday morning, we begin with the geopolitical state of affairs, uh, really talking about the, the history, the origin, uh, the arrival of this person that the Scripture calls the Antichrist, and how he comes to power, uh, what his connections are, and how the October 7th attack in Israel is all connected to that. So that's uh, we begin that Saturday morning, and then on Saturday afternoon, we're going to just walk through some scriptures and and look how this has all been foretold in the books of Daniel and Revelation. So, um, and plus the Olivet Discourse, we're also known as the Eschatological Discourse of Jesus in Matthew chapter 24. So, uh, some exciting things, and uh, really, it, it is an amazing time to be alive and, and well and part of the Church of Christ, because we're, we're seeing these things unfilled right before our very eyes. One of the things I like um, about the way you present uh, the scripture in light of where we are on the timeline of God is the hope filled uh, and exciting joy based uh, presentation that you do. Um, why do you think that is? Why is it you come uh, with information from that perspective in light of the Great Commission? Well, I, I think it comes from the word gospel. The gospel means good news. And, and that's what uh, this is. This is good news for the believers. Even though it might appear dire, it might appear uh, dismal, and when we look at things, um, you know, we have to understand that, I, I ask this question when people, you know, get depressed or get down about it, I ask the question, how long should God wait? How long does he need to wait until he wraps things up and we get to go home to heaven? And um, quite frankly, the older you get, uh, the more you say, even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. So there's great joy. There's great joy in knowing uh, that God has everything under control. You know, uh, he declared it in the book of Daniel in chapters 4 and in chapters 5 when he abased uh, both King Nebuchadnezzar and King Belshazzar. And, and Daniel declared that God rules the kingdoms of men and gives them to whomsoever he will. So he, he's in charge. You know, we, we can't think of it as someone else being in charge. The devil's not in charge. Man's not in charge. God's in charge. Uh, obviously, God does not ordain anything that's happening that, that's evil in nature, but he has to allow these things to come to pass in order to, to wrap things up. So there's great joy in that. Plus, uh, there's actually a blessing in the book of Revelation. People shy away from that book, and we really shouldn't, because it, it says right there in the very beginning, the third verse, it says, God blesses the one who reads the words of this prophecy to the church, and he blesses all who listen to its message and obey what it says. So um, there's great blessing and, and joy in knowing 
God's got it under control, and we don't have to be afraid. Uh, we can look t- towards the sky because our redemption truly is drawing up. I'm very excited about this uh, conference and what is going to happen. So um, everyone who's listening, come and join us Friday night uh, at 6 o'clock. The doors open. Session begins right at 630 and then again on Friday morning. We're looking forward to seeing you there. Bring your syllabus, the Bible, and bring a notepad for information. 